I would like to thank the Beef Council for inviting me to bake them today. Today we're going to be making a chocolate cake with tallow instead of butter. I got this recipe from Chef David Ray, who's also an instructor here at TSTC. We were talking about making desserts with beef products, which is kind of a funny thing to think about. But then he mentioned that he had this tallow chocolate cake that was about the best darn chocolate cake he'd ever had. So I decided this is what we're gonna make. One of the things about this cake that makes it so easy is that you don't need any equipment. Of course you need an oven, but you don't need a mixer. You don't need anything fancy. So it's great for um, adding to your menu if you are working in a real small kitchen. And it's great to make at home. Now the first thing I want to do is go ahead and take my hot coffee. I'm going to put this on my scale. And I'm going to scale out about five ounces of hot coffee. With that hot coffee, I'm going to put a scoop of tallow. Now the measurements are in the recipe. That's about five ounces of tallow. Okay, and I use an ice cream scoop because it's so much easier to get out of the container. Okay, so I've got my five ounces of tallow to the perfect measurement. I want to make sure you use the scraper so I get all the goodness out of there. Now I'm going to take my hot coffee and I'm going to add it to my cold tallow. My tallow is at room temperature. Perfect. And what I want you to look at is what's going to happen. We're going to melt down this tallow. Okay, I'm going to see that. There you go. And I'm just going to agitate it with a whisk. And this is going to constitute my melted tallow. Now what this is going to do for the flavor of the cake, it's going to give it that little bit of that kind of, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Marrow flavor, a little bit more umami than you would get in a regular chocolate cake. So while this is just being warm and melting up, I'm going to go ahead and combine all my dry ingredients. I'm going to come back to this, and if it doesn't get hot enough, I can always put it on the stove. Not a big deal. So here I've got about seven and a half ounces of flour, about an ounce and three quarters of cocoa, baking powder, a baking soda, And then I've got some granulated sugar. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in and simply shake. Now what this is doing is taking out any of the big lumps and it's also combining my ingredients. When you are doing your mise en place, make sure you put all of your dirty stuff in one spot. Make life a lot easier for you later on. So now I'm going to just take my gloved hand and push through anything that didn't make it. Well, there's just a little bit, so I'm going to dump that in the trash. Okay, I have some um, kosher salt here. It's about five grams. And I'm saying about because I don't have my recipe ahead of me. No. Uh, it's about because sometimes uh, if you after you make this cake once or twice, you're going to want to taste it. Make sure it's got the flavors you like, if it's too salty or if it's not salty enough. So here we go. We are getting a nice creamy texture on this tallow. Ooh. Looks kind of like icing. Now to this, I'm going to add about two and a half ounces of egg. And unfortunately, I have some egg here, and it's a little bit more than two and a half ounces. It's actually five ounces. So in order to measure this out, I'm going to take a bowl, place my eggs in it, place my cup on my scale, and then simply whisk up eggs until I get the two and a half ounces I'm looking for. Easy peasy. And then I can save the rest of the eggs for my next batch of cake. 
Okay, so we're on zero. Putting in our two and a half ounces of egg. This way I don't get too much egg white or too much egg yolk. Just the right amount, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and add that into my fat and coffee. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna add a little bit of an emulsifier in those egg yolks. This should come together rather nicely. and soft and I'm going to add some vanilla, about a quarter ounce of vanilla and a five ounces of milk. And this is the best part. We're going to go ahead and pour in the liquid into our dry ingredients. Scrape it out, use our bowl scrapers wherever we can. And you'll notice that this cake is leavened by baking powder and baking soda. So you don't have to worry about aerating it too much. As far as making a foam with the eggs. Oh, if you could smell this, I wish we had smelly vision. You can see right here how easy this is. And all I have is a whisk and a spatula. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And the tallow and the coffee, we have an incredibly rich cake here. And we're gonna pop it into a 325 degree oven. Okay. With your pans, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you spray them with cooking spray. And if you have any uh, butter wrappers, you can put the butter wrapper on the bottom. I make sure that I get the creases in here. But they've come so far with cooking spray, especially the white cap baking sprays, that you don't need to paper. This batch will make two cakes. Okay, look at how gorgeous that is. Goes right into my pan. Give it a couple of whacks. We're going to go ahead and put this right to our oven. 325 degrees. If you have a convection oven, 300 degrees. And what you're going to get is this gorgeous cake. Let me just wipe this down real quick. This gorgeous cake. Now, I put my cake in the refrigerator overnight so that it pops out of the pan easy and clean. And what I can do to make that happen is I'm gonna just pass it over a hot flame, flames are generally hot, a hot flame just to loosen that cooking spray up from the bottom of my pan. I'm gonna pop it out onto a cardboard and now I've got this gorgeous, moist, fabulous cake that I can now ice. Okay, so I've got my layer cake here, and I have my other layer cake that I left in the refrigerator overnight so that it would come out of the pan super clean. Again, just a little bit of a flame underneath. Look at how clean that pan is. Oh my goodness. There was nothing for the wait staff to eat on that one. Okay, so I've got some icing here. And this is real simple. Butter, cream cheese, and about a tablespoon of tallow, just to kind of carry that flavor through. Look at that, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now you're gonna to want to just give it a little bit of push-push, cover the entire cake. Oh my goodness, this is, looks so good. And this icing isn't super, super sweet. And you know what? The cake isn't super, super sweet either. And I think that's because there is such a good amount of cocoa in there and the tallow and the coffee just make it. Mm. Mwah. Okay, so we've got the two cakes together. This is a very family style, deli style cake. If you wanna get fancy, you can get fancy with this. If you wanna cover it with uh, fondant, 
go right ahead. It's incredibly versatile. You can also take the crumbs and break them up and make plated desserts out of them. It goes really well with strawberries, fresh berries, caramel, coffee. I could go on. So I've got the top kind of smoothed out and I've got my sides. Let's grab some of that buttercream off there. And I'm gonna make this um, what they call the naked cake. So I'm gonna go ahead around the sides and just ice. Okay. Don't even need a turntable for this. I mean, come on, how much easier could it be? Take all that buttercream that's kind of hanging over the sides and wipe it on. Now this is the style that all the kids are clamoring for right now. And what it does, this naked cake style, it gives you just enough icing to make it flavorful, but not so much that you feel super full of icing when you're done. All right. So you got a good look at that cake there. Got a couple little empty spots. Go ahead and fill those in. Oh wow. You know, I wish you could smell between the batter and then the baking. It just has such a great scent. Now you want to use that warm coffee, number one, to melt the tallow, and number two, to hydrate your cocoa. Going to smooth out the top and et voila, there you have it. Our gorgeous tallow chocolate cake. And I'm going to cut it so you can see. Oh my goodness.